Tesla will likely not grow as much as we had hoped in some areas, but it will grow more than we had anticipated in others. Being in the tech sector means that Tesla can benefit from any technological advancements. In fact, this is true for all tech companies. Not just Tesla. Technology is advancing quickly, leading to breakthroughs and changes that not only boost sales but create even more opportunities for these businesses to grow. These businesses may even be in the next bubble, but they don't always seize these opportunities die as much as they should. Take Microsoft, a behemoth in the technology industry. For instance, they sold the IBM compatible operating system, which at the time was far from the best operating system on the market. However, it meant that software developers could create programs for multiple systems, which allowed Microsoft to beat Apple because there was so much more software available. Microsoft also sold other software, such as Word Excel and the rest of the Office suite. Then, the internet arrived, and Microsoft wanted to get on board. Nextcaper had developed a browser with a fantastic new interface for browsing the web, so Microsoft joined the fray and released Internet Explorer, taking Netscape head-to-head. -head. Microsoft was preoccupied with fighting Netscape and failed to see that the main value of the web would lie in its ability to help users find websites. Many businesses are attempting to provide as many options as possible for finding what you might be looking for online through directories and search engines with various algorithms. Nevertheless, the value lies in the promotion of other services and advertising, because many who use search engines leave websites instantly to visit the ones they were looking for. It makes sense for businesses to keep visitors engaged. That's why sites like AltaVista are designed to get as many page views and maintain a high user base as feasible. Google eventually released its own browser, Chrome, which reduced Microsoft's market share along with their own suite of word processors, spreadsheets, and email. Google was competing back at Microsoft, but distracted that they didn't see Apple. Apple was hanging by a thread at one point before Steve Jobs returned and tidied up the company before eventually launching the revolutionary music player that Google eventually monetized people, leaving their site with pay-per-click advertising. Then Google came about with a simple search bar and very little else on the site. Google also used a new algorithm called PageRank, which was mainly about the popularity of a website from other sites linking to it. Google quickly entered the market with Android, and Microsoft again made a huge mistake by entering the phone operating system market too late. As the industry developed, new software concepts emerged, whereby Microsoft could charge a yearly fee and charge customers for always having the newest version of the product. Other developments included the cloud movement, which allowed users to access all of their files from any location. Products like Google Drive and Microsoft Azure were well received, but Amazon was also a strong competitor dot who was able to achieve great success using AWS. You never know unless you test cloud-based services. But Amazon wasn't just sitting around all this time. They even released their own phone with an operating system of their own, which was a complete flop. With the advent of computing, these tech companies jumped on Apple II with iCloud. While some of their cloud businesses did much better than others, they were all in the tech space to at least try to provide their customers with some kind of service. Other new technologies, such as streaming Netflix and Spotify, also emerged at this time. With Apple TV and Apple Music, Apple joined that trend. Tech businesses like Google and Amazon are also presented with ongoing chances in new industries. Their task is to create their own version of these opportunities, utilizing their current technology and brand in a way that complements it. Microsoft attempted to compete with Google by investing billions in their own search engine, Bing. They also made an unsuccessful attempt to compete with the iPod by releasing an M3P player. But despite this, some users of Bing continue to use it. Additionally, Microsoft acquired Nokia and now holds a small market share in the mobile operating system industry too. Except for when a new wave of technology arrives, Bing is probably fairly profitable and Search is just such a huge cash cow. Just ask Larry Page. It is an established brand with a place, but it isn't going anywhere. Microsoft might be able to leave it to evolve into the next revolution, but that would only be possible if it remained in the naturally. The AI market has arrived, and Microsoft plans to use this technology to ultimately challenge Google by incorporating conversational GPT into Bing. Microsoft caught up to Google on this one early on, but they still don't know exactly how to monetize it best. Still, Google isn't taking this lightly, and they have their own internal version called BARD. With that said, it's possible that Microsoft has a chance to regain market share now that they planted the seed years ago with Bing. 
Similarly, Apple Siri and Amazon's Alexa seem like obvious brands who explore the AI capabilities, but both are relatively disappointing compared to ChatGPT. How does this relate to Tesla, you ask? That must have been the longest I've gone without mentioning Tesla. Tesla began as a firm that fought climate change before branching out into electricity and automobiles. The company has been doing very little in the way of solar panels, and to be honest, I don't think Tesla will step that up. I think solar panels will probably be left to the Chinese and Koreans. The industry is too small for Tesla in comparison to the rest of the potential, and with all the hassle that comes with installation, it's not a tidy business. Instead, in terms of energy, Tesla is finally branching out more with mega packs and has figured out how to bring down the cost significantly so it can compete. Although power walls are mostly convenience products, if they might convert to off sale sand, reduce the cost by almost half, it would be a fantastic product for a lot more homeowners. Giga Novato will be the largest building in the world when it is completed because it takes that much space to make that many 2170 sales. Tesla was doing well with the Model 3 but the batteries were very capital-intensive and difficult to ramp up. However, along the way, LOP sales suddenly started ramping and had many advantages that made them suited to electric vehicles. Since Tesla was well-positioned to take advantage of this new technology, it built a new Model 3 factory in Shanghai, where sales are made, and shortly after that a Model Y factory for the same purpose. This allowed Tesla to triple production without having to construct a second, much larger Giga Nevada which was not going to be a long-term viable solution. While Tesla has clearly outlined their missions, the plan never goes straight forward. Rather, it's more of a zigzag, and sometimes you go backwards before you get further ahead. For example, for all we really know, FSD may not be ready by 2030 or so. It could take that long. Tesla also decided to build sales in-house, similar to Microsoft developing Bing. Although the 4680s are not yet successful, Tesla has established themselves as a cell manufacturer and can later benefit from any new technologies that may arise, which in this industry is highly probable. Dot does incredible feats, but there's a significant leap until it can make perhaps 1,000 consecutive flights without assistance. In the meanwhile, new technological advancements or waves like robots may emerge. It's possible that Tesla may use FSD technology in robots rather than robot taxes, like Microsoft with Bing. Tesla is an asymmetric investment company. Investors place their chips on a variety of bets, some of which pay off handsomely, some of which don't. Unlike gambling, though, Tesla doesn't lose its chips if a bet doesn't immediately turn profitable. Instead, it can remain there until a particular technological advancement changes the rules of the game. Trying to spread enough bets is the key to investing successfully and seeing one of your futures come true. Just as I once believed that electric vehicles would become popular or that Bitcoin would be a fantastic form of scarcity. Eventually, though, something will happen, and these investments will gain significantly more leverage than they did 10 or 20 years ago. Just as we don't know what lies ahead, but we do know that Tesla has accelerated itself into a number of areas and is becoming the technology company of energy and transport to very big industries. Microsoft had a business plan to turn products into a services pricing, start cloud computing, make an AI search tool. No, we may not know what the future holds, but it seems like everything Tesla is doing is headed in the correct path. The world may not go in the direction we believe it should to reach where they want, but Tesla will be able to flow with the tide and develop through it in one way or another.